watch me. Oh, uh, hungry. <laughs> to. Um, tell us something about yourself. Tanan. Good noon. My name is Tracy Maureen Perez. I'm representing my hometown, Cebu City. I'm an industrial engineer by profession. I'm also a model and a beauty queen based in Cebu City. And an interesting fact about myself that I'm very proud of is that I'm a miracle baby. Life is an absolute blessing for me. And I take every chance that I can get to learn from every experience, both good and bad, so that I can definitely live my life to the fullest. What is one beautiful word in Cebuano, and what does it mean? Guapa. Definitely guapa for me, because it can mean a beautiful person, a beautiful experience, a beautiful place. And that for me is, I think, the most beautiful word that I can say about a Cebuano word, and that represents the Filipino and the Cebuano culture. So what is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? The biggest learning definitely is to be grateful. And, and, uh, again, I'm a miracle baby and my mom has always taught me that this life was given to me. It was a blessing to me. And so, yes, I take every chance that I can get to just experience, to have fun, and to make the most out of every situation, and to, to really connect with people, because that is the most important for me, connecting with people, and connecting with them through experiences. Um, so in this pandemic, what do you think is the most important lesson that you learned? It, during this pandemic, aside from taking care of our health, of course, health is the most important wealth that we have, it's also making sure that we have a safety net, that we are financially stable as much as possible, because that has been one of the biggest problems of every family in this country, financial instability, because of what happened. The pandemic has uprooted so many people and so many businesses. And I think if we can learn from this, we should be able to be more prepared next time. If you win the crown, how will you help your community? If I will be given this huge platform, I will push for equal opportunities for women, both in, in the workplace and in the school, in, in gaining access to education, because I think that women are already intelligent, smart, and powerful, empowered, but we have to give them the opportunity so that they can broaden and widen their horizons and be the best that they can be and reach their utmost and best potential. What color do you think represents the phenomenon of woman? Definitely red. It's my favorite color. It's fiery, passionate, and it screams hope. It gives you life. Red for me is a definition of being powerful and being confident with who you are and showing to people what you can do, what you can be. Work from home is now the norm, right? Definitely. So, um, what do you think are the skills needed to this so-called workplace of the future? I'm actually working from home as well. For the past two years, actually, I've been working as a freelance. And I think that it's a beautiful opportunity for everyone, transitioning online, transitioning into working from home. Not only does it um, require, does it have a lot of benefits to the businesses in terms of costs, but at the same time, for the people who are working, they have to develop that sense of, of resilience and being able to tell themselves, I have to wake up early and do my best every single day, even if no one is watching. So if there's one spot, man-made or natural in Cebu City that you'd like to promote to the world, what would it be? Definitely the Basilica del Santo Nino. That is the most historic place in Cebu City, and that is the exact reason why we celebrate Sinulog Festival. We gather so many people from all over the world, both locals and tourists, foreigners and Filipinos, so that we can celebrate the diversity of every single human being. And that is one of the most celebrated festivities in the country, and I'm very proud of that. Now, there's a campaign to hashtag love local. So which local product do you want to promote and why? Lechon. Ah, I'm such a foodie. Okay, Lechon. Yeah. <laughs>
definitely I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people, if not everyone, loves lechon. It's one of my absolute favorites. I eat it, I try to eat it every week. Even if I'm from Cebu, I, I don't get used to how good it tastes. And it's definitely best paired with puso or the hanging rice. <laughs> puso or the hanging rice. So if you guys can visit Cebu sometime, I would love to bring you there. What is the one thing you think young people should focus on? Young people should focus on finding their true selves, finding their purpose. With the social media, with the age of social media, we tend to get lost and we tend to copy a lot of people that we forget who we truly are and what we stand for and what we deserve. We deserve so much more. If you really just look into ourselves, focus on our core values and just stick to that, then we will be able to, to reach our full potential and be the best person we can be. Thank you so much. Thank you. Miss <laughs> Lechon. <laughs> you remember me from Miss Lechon. Puso. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad that you know the term puso because not a lot of people know that it's the hanging rice. Mm -mm. Sarap. Larshan. At saka ano, pungko pungko. It was the best that I could give at the given time. And I was just being myself. And that's the that's always the way to go. You can never go wrong with being yourself. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Yes. Tell us something about Hi everyone, my name is April Smith. I'm 24 years old and I'm from the province of Cebu and I am a daughter of a late former PBA basketball player Daryl Smith and we're four in the family I am the youngest and I'm the only girl and I have a transgender sister who's the one who introduces me to modeling and pageantry world um, what is one beautiful word in your local language and what does it mean the one beautiful wor word is for me is guapa you can differentiate guapa in every aspect, in all forms of Cebu. In any forms, beauty, food, and um, there's diversity. And I'm bringing the whole province of Cebu and also the island and the festive island of Cebu. It's guapa. What is that uh, one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? Oh, uh, there's only one thing that I could share to you is that the man of my life passed away, whom I can call my father. His peaceful goodbye changed my perspective in life because before I was a girl who is called a happy-go-lucky. But then I learned that we need to value time, especially to our loved ones, family, and friends, and cherish each moment with them because we never know when our time is up. So I think valuing time is very important as a kid. Thank you. So so in this pandemic, uh, what do you think is the most important lesson that you've learned? Yeah, um, there's so uh, in this pandemic, the important lesson that I've learned is still valuing time because all of us are working nonstop, studying nonstop, and we didn't um, notice about what happens, what happens in our surroundings. So I think valuing time is very important in this uh, pandemic and you really can see what's the difference, what happened to this pandemic. And I, I can say that still valuing time is the very important that time. the lesson happened to me. If you win, how will you help your community? I will help my community by my advocacy because uh, my advocacy is through youth sports and for anti-bullying. And being, in, being a Cebuana is a very important to me because as a child, I've experienced discriminated and being bullied. And no one was there for me. No one was um, someone to lean on, someone who could say everything is okay because I am here. Because being discriminated does not beat you physically, but will corrupt you mentally and emotionally. And I want to share that Bye. to my friends. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? The color symbolizes phenomenal woman is lavender. For me, I think uh, lavender represents a very refreshing to your eyes. And I think that is a phenomenal woman. And um, it's uh, lavender for me is a new perspective in life. It's a new, it's a very optimistic and a very positive. Because as a positive person, no matter 
may the things may not turn out the way you expected, we always see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I can say lavender is a nice color. If there is one spot, man-made or natural, in the province of Cebu that you'd like to promote to the world, what would it be? Uh, that would be um, the... Aside from the Kawasan Falls, which is located in Badian, um, that would be uh, the Buhu River, which is located in Alugin San Cebu. Um, this may not be very known, but I want to promote it because it's very beautiful in there. And um, as I experience um, going there, it's so very peaceful. It's so very, um, very, you can meditate there. It's so nice. So I want to promote it. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> I'll be your tour guide. <laughs> okay, so when you you hear the word working from home, work from home, work from home. So what do you think are the skills needed to this so called workplace of the future? I think workplace in the future, um, in this amidst of pandemic, I think I would really promote online selling because it's uh, very timely and I think while promoting online selling and this livelihood could really help other local and support local local products and um, by supporting this online selling I think it should also support the um, the internet um, connectivity here in the Philippines so I think by that we can have the work I think I think you're familiar with the hashtag love local. Yes. So if you had a choice, which local product do you want to promote and why? I would love to promote the guitars in Cebu province. <laughs> because um, it's already um, known by international that the Lapu-Lapu City already um, was the number one in making of the guitars. So I want to promote. And my brother is, all, my brother is also a musician. So she ha uh, he had 11 guitars at home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Then the last question is, what is one thing you think that young people like you should focus on? Ooh. Young people should focus on self and should aim self-improvement, should aim, should, should think um, greater, um, greater self because it's very important and that's what I've learned a long ago as I've, um, as I've grown. And being adopting yourself and accepting yourself is very important and know your worth because before I really didn't know what my worth is. So now I want to promote that. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> why? What, what, why? 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 Alcohol, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Because as a Cebuana, um, I've experienced a lot of discriminated and bullying, and I didn't know that I have this worth of joining any pageants and. Um, when Leila Lopez won Miss Universe, I really got inspired. So by there, um, I want to be the f be be, um, be uh, inspiration to the little April Smith who look up to me now because there are some people who really message me that they're inspired by me and and I remember that I was in their footsteps as well before. So I really want to promote that one and break the stereotype of. Joining beauty pageants, not just Mistisa, and yun. <laughs> so sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, oh my god, I'm so sorry. You have a huge following, and a lot of people look up to you, so you can reach them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. What made you emotional? Is it something that you are fighting for? or? Yes, correct. That was something I uh, I am fighting for, especially I'm passionate about my advocacy, with it, which is youth sports through anti-bullying, and I'm very passionate about that one. So when I got there, I really got emotional because I really want to push this advocacy and to promote it. Bye, Buntag! Okay.
Okay, I have so many things to say about myself. <laughs> well, I, I'm in Dai Eliza Mali now and I'm nervous <laughs> and excited. And I've always believed that in Dai can do whatever I set my eyes and heart into. So, kinakabahan talaga ako. <laughs> okay. Nung bata pa ako, naalala ko, hindi ako binibigyan ng parents ko ng pera. So, sabi ko, okay, nakita ko na opportunity ko sa farm ng lolo ko. I'm sorry, it was 30 seconds. <laughs> Were you brief about 30 seconds? Yes. I didn't know that. Okay. Second question. Okay. So what is one beautiful word, word in your local language or dialect? And what does it mean? Hmm. Padayon. That means continue. Um, in life, I've failed so many times, but in our language, we are taught that no matter how many times you fall, you have to stand back up and um, smile and move forward. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Great question. Um, what is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? Oh, that was when I worked in our farm, in my grandfather's farm. Because I didn't give my money, so I realized, okay, I'm going to work on the farm so I have extra allowance. Ako. And then I realized that if my initiative ka and you are hardworking, you can get whatever it is that you want in life. And now I'm here. In this pandemic, uh, what is that one major uh, lesson that uh, you learned from this pandemic? That food is very difficult to get from the farm to your table. And that was a life-changing event for me to be able to volunteer in an organization move, uh, called Move Food Initiative. I learned how to become a driver, a tindera, uh, maybe a farmer sometimes, but... Now I respect farmers even more, and I hope I can teach everyone to really value the food on their table. If you win uh, the crown, how will you help your community? I have been helping my community, even though I don't have the crown yet. When the pandemic happened, I connected them to our um, municipal hall and asked for seeds. And now I'm looking at succeeding as an entrepreneur for our vanilla dream farm so I can help not only our community but the entire Mindanao as well. Um, we are targeting to tar uh, help the coconut farmers and plant vanilla in between. So not only that, they, I mean like, what the coconut I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> okay, relax, Eliza, relax. Okay. <laughs> what color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? Hmm. Yellow. Why? Actually, and women empowerment is violet, but my favorite color is yellow. Because when you see yellow, you ca uh, it captures your attention right away and makes you happy. And it's bright, brings you joy. That's me. <laughs> so, um, if there is one spot in Davao City, man-made or natural, that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? Hmm. Well, Davao City is known to be the home of the Dutertes, but we are also a home of 11 ethno-linguistic groups. So we transformed one park into a place where people can visit and meet all the 11 ethno-linguistic groups, including their houses, um, ha what they have in their homes, their costumes, and their people. And I want you to get to know them more. Let's go. Yes, let's go. <laughs> um, another thing that we hear a lot nowadays is work from home. Mm -hmm. So they say this is the workplace of the future. So what skills do you think is needed in this so-called work, uh, workplace of the future? Hmm. When the pandemic happened, I was able to grow a garden in my balcony. And I believe in sustainability. So I think people should learn how to grow their own food in their backyard or balcony. So no matter how many pandemics happen, hopefully nothing will come in the future. Um, they will be food secure and they will never go hungry. There's a, there's a campaign, uh, uh, hashtag love local. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> you're doing your part. Yes, I'm. What local product do you want to promote and why? Mm, definitely 
the vegetables of the farmers. I want to make sure that one day we can help the food system be better because there are so many things that we can promote, but we are not helping our farmers to make sure that they can reach the markets. And I want to help them to be able to reach the markets right away so no more food will be wasted. Thank you. What is one thing you think young people like you should focus on? Themselves. Um, you can never get anywhere if you know you don't know who you are. When you know who you are, you know where you are going. So with me, I know that I am a farmer, and no matter how many places I visit, I would always go back to the farm, and that's where I want to improve my community and my family. Thank you. That was the last question. Okay. Thank you. More. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if there's anyone you wanted to inspire with your performance, who would it be? Hmm, I think the young Indies, because and daming Indies sa probinsya namin that um, they think the only breakthrough in life is to get married, and I want to show them that they can be whatever they want to be, and they can always follow their dreams, kahit paano pa sabihin na society or ng parents nila sa kanila. <laughs> Hi, good morning, Bob. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Bob. How are you? I'm cold. Are you cold? Yeah, it's cold. Hold on, hold your pull on. Yes. Okay, so you can speak in your language if you'd like to. Oh. Pwede rin na English, wala na yata nagbibisari sa amin dito para, pero pwede yung subtitle yan. Okay. 30 seconds lang. Okay. Every answer. Tell us something about this. Uh, my name is Wam Ahmed. The meaning of my name is peace. I love reading books and I love sketching. What is one beautiful word in your local language? This one. Padayon. What does it mean? Padayon means to keep on going, to continue. So it's in, it's related to my advocacy rin kasi about mental health awareness. So pa da yun. Pa da. Next question. Uh, what is that uh, one learning experience that you had when you were a child uh, that made so much impact on you? Uh, the lesson that I had to be vulnerable na I have to be human in order to grow more. Kasi before, I was such a shy kid na talagang enclosed talaga lahat. And then growing up, I realized na it's okay to actually just be vulnerable and affectionate because that's where we grow. And then, what about in this pandemic? Uh, what do you think is the most important lesson that you've learned? The most important lesson that I've learned is to just keep on going. No matter how hard it is, no matter how frustrated you are, no matter how dark it is, just keep on going because even though you're frustrated, towards the end of this tunnel, lagi talaga on my bright side. If you win, how uh, will you help your community? If I would win, I'd like to give more recognition about my advocacy, po, mental health awareness. Po. Okay. More on uh, sa province, ko po, Davao del Norte. I have to start small, muna. I have to start with my province first and with the children. Talaga. What color do you think uh, symbolizes the phenomenal woman? I think the color that symbolizes a phenomenal woman is red because it's fierce, it's passionate, and it's empowering. Okay, if there's one spot, man-made or natural, in Davao del Norte that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? I'd like to promote Talaingod because it's a municipality in my province na punong -puno ng IP and it isn't that visited that much kasi ang binibisita talaga sa amin is Sabal Island kasi nga the beaches and everything but when you go to Talaingod you would see the, the culture talaga doon and you would appreciate it even more Okay, so another question you've been hearing the word work from home, work from home, work from home <laughs> Yes <laughs> So what do you think are the skills needed to this uh, so-called work at home workplace of the future yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. i feel like work at home kailangan talaga disiplina because it's so hard to work at uh, an environment where you're used to being relaxed talaga 
So environment really matters when it comes to doing certain kinds of things. So I th really think the discipline is the most important thing. There's a campaign that's called Hashtag Love Local. Yes. So if, if we're up to you, which local product would you want to push and why? I'm wearing the local product I like to push. This is actually the first ever fabric sa province ko in Davao del Norte. This is Musa fabric. It's made out of banana fiber. Kasi usually sa Mindanao, ang ginagamit is talaga is tinalak, if you'd noticed. And this is the first ever Musa fabric made out of banana fibers. So I'm proudly representing this. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. Last question. What is one thing you think that young people should focus on? I think young people should focus on themselves and on their mental health because it is important uh, to put yourself first when it comes to situations. Your first has to come first. Yourself has to come first, Delaga, before other people. Thank you. Good night. You know, Bo? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, but thank you so much. Uh, Miss Joy Supo, sa Davao del Norte. Yes, po. I hope you enjoyed your Q&A and you can probably rest up for your next event. I enjoyed my Q&A so much. I was laughing and I was promoting everything about my province. I loved everything that happened, Kanina. All the vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Na late kasi siya mga mga siya. Nandiyan na siya, Hi, may adlaw sa tanan. <laughs> I'm Marielle Joyce Pasqua. You can also call me MJ. I'm 27 years old. I'm representing the Tuna capital of the Philippines, General Santa City. So I'm also a graduate of AB Mass Communication in the premier university of General Santa City. I, I resided in, I'm residing in General Santa City, and, but I, I, I reside in General Santa City, but, sorry. I, uh, sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, what is one beautiful word in your local hmm. language, and what does it mean? That's kalinaw. It means tranquility. Because I think in this time of pandemic, we all need tranquility and happiness. I am, they say that I am the life of the party, and I make people happy and brighten up the world. So I think if you have a party, you can always invite me. <laughs> what is the word again? Kalinaw, it means tranquility. Kalinaw. It's in Bisaya. Okay, next question. What is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? I think the courage that my mom, she battled cancer, lung cancer for almost nine years. And in this time of pandemic, uh, it is really hard for me because aviation industry is one of the most affected industry in this time of pandemic and working as a flight attendant for almost four years and I lost this job. I lost my dream job, but it made me so stronger to achieve more in life and focus more on winning the crown of Miss Universe. The have an attitude of gratitude. We all have that time in this pandemic that we are so much, a lot of battles that is happening in our mind. I suffered a lot of depression because of the work, but I should have that attitude of gratitude to be more thankful for what is happening, for what I have right now. I have time with more time with my family, my health. I am negative, Hi. and I'm <laughs> time. <laughs> If you will, how will you help your community? I'm so passionate with the youth and our generation. So I made a movement of Next Is Me. I've been so 
so happy to involve in our community in General Santa City to help the indigenous uh, communities. I also have programs like Pro Proyecto Cuaderno. It's a Proyecto Calon program that we made with Eliza and with my sisters here in Museum Universe Philippines because we want to continue. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what color do you think symbolizes the uh, phenomenal woman? Phenomenal woman, it's green because it gives me, when I see green, it gives me so, it's so natural and it gives me tranquility. It's one of my favorite color because when I see green, I see so, so relaxed. And it's like a phenomenal woman. I feel relaxed right now, but, but at the same time, I'm shaking, but... No, I'm not going to explain. Okay, so if there is one spot man-made or natural in general Santos that you would like to promote, what would it be? Definitely, that's the, our fish port. We, I want to show the Philippines and the whole country that we are the tuna capital of the Philippines. And you can see in my, it's fish scales, yes. Dried fish scales from a local in General Santa City. Mm. Wow. Okay. So, we've been hearing the word, we're from home. So, what skills do you think is needed uh, in this so-called future of uh, future of workspace, future of workspace, that's Greece under pressure. Uh, because I lost my job as a flight attendant, I am currently working as a marketing consultant in a review center for IELTS. So I think we also need to have more impact in our society in helping our community in a work from home situation we need to be more it, i know it's convenient but we also need to be more impactful Time. <laughs> there's a campaign to hashtag love local love local so in 30 seconds <laughs> <laughs> which local product you want to promote and why that's definitely tuna. I'm from General Santa City. I want to champion our locality. So that's why I'm wearing a dress with fish scales because I want to show the world and show the universe rather <laughs> that I'm from, I'm from the tuna capital of, Philipp of the Philippines and also supporting local, it's also supporting our um, industry and our community. So, last question. Is that one thing you think young people like you should focus on? Self-respect. I have a, uh, I have a 11-year-old cousin who always tell me that she's been bullied, and I also, uh, I also, uh, I also experience um, it right now, and but it made me stronger. Um, it made me stronger to who, be who I am today. That's why I go out on my comfort zone and be Miss Universe Philippines, hopefully. Thank you. Gulo sa kay direct. Thank you so much. Daging Do you think that you said everything that you wanted to say? No, <laughs> because it's so much little time, so I can't explain in 30 seconds, so I think I need a lot of time to explain myself. <laughs> So, my name is Adalma Crisel Benicta. I'm 26 years old and I represent the beautiful province of Ilocosur. So, as you know, I am a frontliner myself and working in this time of pandemic is a bit challenging but a fulfilling one because for me, knowing that I'm able to help them in times of their need is a fulfillment in itself. 
Ah, ingen fast pass, sorry. Oh, pa, medyo na pagod. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but, no, pa. yeah. well, but aside from that, uh, ay, sorry. Okay, pa, sige. <laughs> um, I work as a nurse po in one of the public hospitals in my province, Ilocosur. What is one beautiful word in your local language and what does it mean? So, kanina mo sinabi si Barrio, ang nagaganda. So, for... <laughs> if I would choose a beautiful word that translates to my dialect, that would be napintas. So, ganda po. <laughs> Napintas translates to beautiful. And I believe, as I stand here, I represent uh, Napintas Abalasang, um, an Ilocana who shows to the world, confident that she has a heart to inspire other people. And I hope that showing my talents and skills as an Ilocana inspires other people also to inspire others. <laughs> Mauyong. <laughs> Mauyong, parang bagtit din po yun. <laughs> so what is that uh, learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? Um, well, as a child, I've always been uh, malikot, so I've always had to stumble, and these scars in my knees are representations that I'm a malikot. But the learning experience that I've had is always learning how to stand back up. And, you know, I'm, um, before I became Miss Ilocos, I had to try three times, so that represents how perseverant and hardworking as I am, because that represents Ilocana. We are resilient, full of grit, full of love and inspiration. What about in this pandemic? What is the most important lesson that you learned? There are a lot of learnings that I've learned in this pandemic. One thing is to have that attitude of gratitude, sir. Um, you know, um, I've always um, taught myself to always look for the things that I have in life, for the family that I have, for the friends that I have, because I've learned through the learning journeys in this Miss Universe that it's okay to have these people around you to share the feelings that you have because you know you can never do things alone and i think that's a, that's an important thing to have to always be grateful Adele, if you win the crown how will you help your community? i've thought of that um a long time but it was really hard to think of a one thing to um really spark that answer so but i feel like if i win miss universe i can help my community by being the voice because you know there are a lot of people in our community that don't have the voice to let out their needs and as a nurse myself you know i want to show to or i mean i want to be the voice to the nurses because you know Okay, <laughs> sorry. I'm a bit It's okay. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? A color that symbolizes a phenomenal woman for me is white. As you see, as you can see, I am wearing white because I believe that purity is important to become a phenomenal woman that you are. And to be a phenomenal woman, you have to know in your heart that. Whatever, as long as it is pure and as long as it is kind to have these people around you have a better life, I think that's one thing that you can do to uplift right. lives of others. So working from home is now a norm. So what skills do you think is needed to this so-called uh, workplace of the future? Um, yes, sir. It's really hard to work at home, especially for those who um, have this type of setting. But as for me, as I'm, I'm a nurse and I don't mm, know their experience, but I think one skill that you should have if you are working from home is knowing how to thrive. Because you know you have to adjust, adjust to the things that's happening right now. And if you learn to adjust and accept the things that's happening right now and have that positive mindset, you can always, you can always um, overcome what it is. If there is one spot, man-made or natural, in Ilocosur that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? 
Um, I'm originally from the municipality of Bantay, and if there's one spot that I would like to show to the world, then th that probably is the Bantay Bell Tower, because you know it's a spot wherein it is a hill and you overlooking the view of our province, and I think that's a great um, opportunity for if someone has ever to visit our province that's like showing to them in a top view of Ilocosur that we are um, we are a beautiful province we are full of nature and of course beautiful people <laughs> So that's a hashtag love local, right? So if you had a choice, what local product do you want to support and why? Yes, um, I actually I support um, local products and I think that would be obvious because I am wearing one now. So if there's one thing that I would like to introduce, that's the Abel Iloco. Um, I believe that this Abel Iloco dress made by an Ilocano designer is a representation of how Iloco Sur has a great or has a great culture and heritage and it represents how we Ilocanos are talented and artistic because in the process of making the Abel Iloco is labor, yes, labor intrinsic. Okay. The last question is, what is one thing um, you think young people like you should focus on? Um, I believe, sir, that what young people should be working on, on. or I mean focusing on should be their dreams. They should really know what their goals in life and knowing how their authentic authenticity is. Because you know, we, in this learning journey, um, I believe that knowing yourself truly and knowing your purpose and having that vision of who you want to become and how you can use that to be an inspiration to others is important. Thank you for... Thank you. you know, my loved ones are always you, there for me, what, cheering me on, um, despite having these beautiful ladies com to compete with. Um, but they reassure me that, no, you, you, you know you have the skills and the ability, you just have to believe in yourself and have faith in God. Because once you have that, you can achieve everything. You can overcome whatever it is that you're going through. <laughs> Hello, good morning. I am Rabia Oxanya Mateo, 23, representing the city of Love, Iliilo. I am biracial. Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did introduce myself na. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, 30 seconds long, give an introduction. Tell us something about yourself. I am actually biracial. My mom is an Ilonga and my dad is an Indian, if you can see through my features. However, I was raised in a broken family and uh, I experienced a really poor life. And uh, I was able to rise from our situation as well because of educating people, because of educating myself. And now I decided to go give back to my community and uh, I became a lecturer for physical therapy. That's why I was able to Go Time. to. What is one beautiful word in your local language and what does it mean? One beautiful word would probably guapa, which means beautiful. I feel like we have this um, statement in Iliilo, basta ilonga guapa, which means every ilonga is beautiful. And I'm very proud that um, with Miss Universe Philippines, I was able to bring that kind of aspect that every Filipino would know that statement, basta ilonga guapa. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So, what is that uh, one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? If there would be one thing that I learned through my mother, that would be always forgive people. Because there's no such thing as a perfect person. And when my dad left us, she never speak ill about him. That's why in every situation, even though other people would hurt me, I still choose to see the goodness in them. What, what about in this pandemic? What is the most important lesson that you learned? You know what? Even though you're struggling, you can still become the symbol of hope. I myself, um, I had fears, uncertainty, but I still um, realized that I could still give back to Iloilo City. Out of my pocket, I decided to cook for the frontliners, and I know that's just a simple way, but that's my best way to help our modern heroes. If you win the crown, 
how uh, will you help your community? Well, you mentioned that, that are there other things that you plan to do when you win the being a Miss Universe, you become influential. So I want to go back to my advocacy, which is Feed Me and I Read Your Program, which we help those children living near the dump site. If you have seen my Beyond the Coastline video, I want to go back there. And we need a lot of materials, learning materials. And I feel like being a Miss Universe, I will be able to pull donors into our project to make it foster even better. What's the name of the program again? Feed Me and I Read Your Program. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? I feel that a phenomenal woman is red because red is power and I am red. Um, work from home is now a norm. So what do you think are the skills needed to this um, future workspace or a uh, future works, workplace of the future? Sorry. As of the moment, I am working from home because we don't have classes, um, live classroom classes. That's why we decided to conduct our lectures online. I feel like nowadays we need to adopt to the situation. So um, we need to be versatile in what is happening around us. And online business or working from home is such a huge opportunity for us to spend more time with our family and as well um, trying to enjoy the life. If, if you can name one spot man-made or natural in your uh, in Ilo City, what would it be? I would definitely want to bring all of you to Haro Cathedral because, you know what, in Iloilo, we don't have much of natural spots. But Haro Cathedral is like an establishment that witnessed the love and devotion that Ilongos have towards God. And I feel like it's been there since the Spanish era. So with timeless memories and modernization, we were able to, you know, arrive to be the Ilongas that we are today. There's a campaign that's hashtag Love Local. So if it were up to you, which local product do you want to promote and why? You know what? It was also asked to me during Miss Iliila, and I want to bring to the global community our very own hablon, that is our indigenous fabric. And I feel like, you know, it enriches the culture of not just Iliilo but of our country. Every time I wear Hablon, I don't just wear Iloilo, but I wear Philippines. Last question. What is one thing young people like you should focus on? <laughs> you need to invest in yourself. As of the moment, there's a lot of destructions. There's a lot of bashers or backlash. But at the end of the day, when you practice self-love, you get to know the right weapon in order for you to win life. And I feel like right now, I am ripe enough to win the competition because I've done everything that I could to transform to become a phenomenal woman that I am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you, Po. Actually, at first, I was kind of hesitant because you need 30 seconds to answer one question. But in the end, I was able to gain that momentum. And I feel like up until now, there's so much energy in me. I can do another round. Um, they told us that it's all about us, our personality. So I think I can do it because I know myself. And that's basically about us. Hello, how are you? I'm good, Po. How are you guys? <laughs> 30 seconds lang per pagwag. Tell us something about yourself. Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Kimchi Kerzaldo. You might be wondering why I'm named Kimchi. I was born in South Korea um, be because my parents were working there before. And I was named after the Korean appetizer Kimchi. So I'm currently working as a flight attendant. And one of my greatest achievements in my career is that I was a presidential cabin crew. And right now, I'm currently studying my master's in business administration in Ateneo because I also have, I also want to have a business in the future and so that I can control my time and schedule. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what is one beautiful word? In your local language, then what does it mean? Guapa. That means beautiful. I think everyone, every Ilongo people are beautiful in our own ways. Whatever we have, whatever color of our skin, whatever um, how 
our phys physical features are. We are all beautiful in our own ways as long as we accept and acknowledge our fears and our flaws and insecurities. Then we are beautiful. Thank you. One learning experience when I was a child um, is that we have different privileges in life. I live in a small community and we, we, we go on, we went to different schools, public, private, and I've seen how life is, the reality of life for us. And with that, I, that is an aspect that I can bring to Miss Universe Philippines for us to be able to appreciate more in life, for us to be able to give more and understand more. Thank you. So what about in this pandemic? Uh, what do you think is the most important lesson that the most important thing that I've learned during this pandemic is to not take things for granted. We all know that we have different privileges and that that's something that we have to acknowledge. Not every one of us has the same privilege. And because of that, I was able to use my platform to ra raise funds, create donation drives for those under underprivileged. And that's something that I would want to empower people for us to appreciate our life better. Thank you. If I win the crown, I can help through my advocacy because my advocacy is about public health and sanitation. Um, my advocacy is about creating more environmental laws because in Iloilo we have community cleanup drive every Saturday of the month. And Iloilo province is aiming for a clean identity province and that's something that I would want to bring to Miss Universe Philippines for us to be able to have a clean identity country for every province to have that um, achievement right. also. Thank you. Why are you laughing? I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Sa lahat po. What color do you think is, uh, uh, symbolizes a uh, phenomenal woman? I don't think there is a certain color. Because I think every color, since Miss Universe is embraces diversity, I think every color symbolizes a phenomenal woman. So, work from home <clears throat> is now part of the media. So what do you think are the skills needed to this uh, so-called workplace of the future? Um, I never experienced work from home because I'm a flight attendant. So, but um, tourism industry is one of the most affected industry, right? So we get to have w one flight in a month. And that's really sad because I really miss flying. And right now, what we, we can do is to... Um, Pray that this will all be over for us to be be able to live the normal life again. If there is one spot in the province, whether it's man-made or natural, that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? There are lots of globally competitive islands and beaches in Iloilo province that are underrated, and that's something that I would want to bring to Miss Universe Philippines for us to be for, for, so I can promote my. Um, the tourist destinations that we have, like the Isla de Gigantes and the Sikogon Island. Those are white sand beaches and islands that are really globally competitive that can be on the top best islands in Asia. Thank you. There's a, there's a campaign to well, hashtag love local. So for you, which local product do you want to promote and why? Um, Local product that I would want to promote is our hablon. Um, it's um, a fabric weaved by our weavers, and it's made of abaca, piña, and cotton. Um, that's really something that I would want to support and promote because it's also a globally competitive product, and that's also something that I would love to wear. Mm -hmm. That's what is one thing young people like you should focus on. One thing that young people like me should focus on is our authenticity. If we are able to acknowledge and accept our vulnerabilities, our fears, that we are also, that we have our insecurities, then we, we can empower ourselves and use it 
to empower other people that we can, if we use our authenticity, we can be beautiful in our own ways. We can be phenomenally beautiful in our own ways. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> We 